Do you have an imaginary friend? Well, here's my imaginary friend. Hey everyone, this is Rabbit Ball Animation Bliss and welcome to another At The Movies Corner. So today's movie that I'll be reviewing today is the anime film The Imaginary. So the film starts off with a young boy named Roger who is best friends with a young girl named Amanda. But it turns out that Roger is actually Amanda's imaginary friend. And they ended up playing a lot of games with each other and growing close to each other. But one day a tragic incident occurs and it leaves Roger all alone by himself. But at that point he ends up traveling to the world of imaginary friends and he ends up making a lot of friends in the imaginary world until he realizes that a guy named Mr. Bunty is actually chasing after him and so Roger has to try to find a way to escape Mr. Bunty's clutches while trying to return to earth at the same time. So what are my thoughts on the imaginary? I really love this movie. So let's talk about some of the things I did like about this movie. So the first thing that I liked about this movie was the premise. It seems like 2024 is the year of movies with imaginary friends such as the horror movie Imaginary and the family movie If coming out the same year and now we have a third movie about imaginary friends called The Imaginary coming out this year and I absolutely really love the premise of this movie. The fact that this movie is about imaginary friends was really interesting to me since I rarely watch a lot of films that deal with imaginary friends but what really made this film stand out to me in regards to other movies that's about imaginary friends is that the imaginary friend in question Roger is actually the main character and we actually get to see the world from his viewpoint. So I love the fact that this movie does a lot of great world building in terms of imaginary friends like we get to learn more about how the imaginary friends live and how they deal with their jobs and what would happen to them if their owners stopped believing in them. So we get to learn more about the imaginary friends in this movie and how they're able to deal with the jobs they're being given. Another thing that I liked about this movie was the animation. So this movie is actually made by Studio Ponic. But I wouldn't blame you if you mistaken this film for a Studio Ghibli film as the animation in this film is very similar to any film you've seen in Studio Ghibli. But anyway, the animation of this film is very beautiful to look at. All the characters move very fluently and the environments are very beautiful to look at and the animation in the film really brings out how beautiful the environments are. So I really love the animation in this movie. And then another thing that I liked about this movie was the villain Mr. Bunty. So at first glance Mr. Bunty may seem like this jolly old guy who seems to be very eccentric but as the movie goes on and we start to learn more about his darker motives regarding Roger he starts becoming this terrifying villain who's trying to go after Roger and the film definitely gets really creepy whenever he's on screen. So I think that Mr. Bunty is like one of the creepiest villains I've seen in a long time and the movie did a really good job at making this character very creepy creepy and very scary for the audience. Now if there was a minor issue that I have with this film was that I felt like the pacing was a bit slow at times. Like even though this film has a lot of fantastic action sequences there are some moments where the film kind of slows down and it kind of distracts me a bit from the film. So yeah there's a bit of slow pacing in this film that kind of made this film a bit hard to watch at times. Before I get into my overall thoughts about this film, I would like to let you guys know that there are affiliate links in the description box below if you want to buy any of the movies that I mentioned on LinkedIn in this video. If you buy any of the movies that I mentioned in this video using the affiliate links in the description box below that I will receive a small commission that would greatly help with this channel. So please feel free to use any of the affiliate links in the description box below if you want to add any of these movies to your movie collection. All aboard the Animated Social Media Express! Want to send some tweets my way? Then follow me on Twitter. Want to join our special animation community? Then join our Discord group, Animation Bliss. Want to see more updates on our YouTube videos? Then check out our Facebook group, Animation Bliss. Want to download on everything going on with this channel? Then check all of the above. And now, back to the video. But overall, I really love the imaginary. Even though there are some slow moments in this film, I love the premise of this movie being about this imaginary friend 
who's trying to get used to being an imaginary friend and I also love the animation and the villain Mr. Bunty is definitely one of the creepiest villains I've seen in a long time so if you want to watch an animated film that's all about imaginary friends that I definitely recommend the imaginary so those are my thoughts on the imaginary and tell me in the comments down below have you seen the imaginary and if you have did you like this movie did you hate this movie and what's your favorite animated film that deals with imaginary friends please let me know in the comments down below well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Rabbit's Wall Animation Bliss, and I'll see you guys later. Hey, animation fans. Like this video? If you want to see more animated content from this channel, then please hit that big old animated subscribe button so that you can get more awesome content from this channel.